on our way to Daytona Beach, Florida. So let's just let's go over the patch points again. 13 comes up on 30 on uh, 34. 14 comes up on 35. I come in the back door, brought my lunch. <laughs> Boss, could you raise your hand so I can see where you are? Could you dive back there behind the drums for a couple, couple seconds? Yeah, one second. Yeah. Are you happy to do the phone? Yeah. There you go, mate. Let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> Dude, you're never gonna guess where I'm at, man. <laughs> hey, bro! <laughs> oh, what's up, Alex? There he is. Hey, Drew. There he is. Modern technology. Oh, Alex, oh, yes. Obviously, we found him. Yeah. He's arrived. He's arrived. Busy? Story and then uh, busy, 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 busy. And busy. you have no days off. Life, as we know, it's, it's over. Well, it's over. forget. Very funny. Very funny. Marcus, you're on the barbecue grill. <laughs> Do you really know who you are? Tim, give me half sharp. <laughs> Show your hands, Bones. Oh, there he is. Please. It's like it's like kindergarten. I swear to God. Make him hold his hands up. There you are. Let me see him, Bones. <laughs> okay, put your head down on the desk now. Okay, go ahead, Marcus. Dude, I think we're ready to roll. Yeah. Get your bass on. Let's uh, get some levels and get this thing going. Thanks, Tim and Blas, for keeping quiet out there, huh, buddies? <laughs> Okay, boys, let's do this. Tape's rolling. Slider record number two.
you video! Slaughter. Yes, right here. show look half as good as this intense video. I'm just worried about the people down here. If I hit somebody with one of my sticks, I'm gonna Mark Slaughter! Piece of shit! I hear your voice! The biggest and <laughs> the biggest piece of shit that you've ever known. Woo! You diarrhea. Hi, my name is Tina Austin and I am the makeup slut. I'm Megan and I'm supposed to be one of those uh, Sex between girls. Thank you, sir. What? I'm trying to get a lot. I'm going to get my stuff out. Checking out. Word job. Picking out. Word job. Did you try that on yet? Yeah, I've tried it. It fits me fine. No shirt. You like it? I love that tape. Let me grab a guitar. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the people who decide what I wear. <laughs> okay, that's it. I think we'll be much happier with this than any of our other videos because it's like, it's, it's what we do live. The other ones we had to like fake something. You know what I mean? It's, it's pretty hey, like my dude. <laughs> It'll be the new Change. Got to show more leg this time. Let's get From the behind the scenes here, I want everybody to realize what makes everything happen. All these people out there. All those people right there. Come on down to party with us here down at the video. For all these people right here in the front. It's killer. We're glad you're here. single solitary thing. Everything you see on this video, Canon will be told to you as a lie. We haven't shot a thing yet. We're all pissed off. Just take a look at this.
my best, my best, my best, my best, my This is something that's very rare, especially in the United States of America, because there's a thing called no records. I mean, a lot of people, there's going to be a lot of people that grow up in this world that aren't even going to see what these things look like. Imagine that. Here in Tokyo, we also sign all the different styles, body parts included. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. This right here, unbelievably, is a scrapbook and all the things that have happened in America. Where'd you buy these magazines at? I work at a record store. Oh, you work at a record store? Yeah. So she works at a record store. That's how she obtained all these things from America. Yeah. On top of that, she has all the Japanese. Very, very well plugged in. It's a water shirt and everything. <laughs> about Japan is they have all these different kind of titles, kind of like album ideas, like for titles. And I'm looking for an album title. But look, they already took Stick It To Ya, you know? They have to just put a stick in front of that. We have our last record. So I'm really basically looking for an album title while I'm walking around here in Japan, while the guys are out there doing the drum tracks. So uh, we're going to take a little walk around. Hey, come on, let's go for a walk. Can you sing that? Can you guys sing that? Can you sing that? Okay, ready? Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Up all night, sleep all day. Up all night, sleep all day. Yeah, just rocking down the street. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can enjoy it here in Japan. These guys are kind of like a buck tooth looking daffy duck. I don't, I don't know what character this is. Here's a toy store. Let's go check it out. Come on, you guys. Watch out for the little animals here. It's kind of strange. It's kind of... It's a good thing these things don't come with baseball bats, you know? Welcome to Tokyo. This is our happy toy store where you'll find lots of happy fans and happy people here in the toy store. Thank you for coming. I gotta head off to do interviews. Uh, I wanna say thank you very much for coming out. Okay? Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thanks for coming. Yes, bye bye. We'll see ya. It's kind of like Tokyo, Vegas. Very rocking. There's the arcades. They have the good times. How you doing? Nice to see you. How you been? How you doing? Say hi to the camera for it. Hey, just say hi to the camera. Say hi. Yeah, there you go. See you. How you doing? Just say hi to say hi to America. Hi. 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 How are you? Good. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. You ever heard the band Slaughter? Slaughter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the band slaughtered. Yeah. As you can see, the Beatles eat at McDonald's too. You know, they got a lot of money, but uh, they still like to live just as cheap as I do. This is called Pachinko. This is like Vegas in Tokyo. This is Mark Slaughter signing out from downtown Shinjuku, Tokyo. See ya!
Last year, <laughs> our video director gave us a video camera. You can only imagine what we thought when he said, go out and film everything you can out on the road. So we made our own home movies, each guy in the band as well as guys on our road crew. You're not going to believe what you see. You'll probably not believe they had the balls to give us this camera. But this was our lives. Check this out. that uh, most people would probably realize that while most of this writing has actually gone on, Mark's mom, who works very odd hours, generally comes on in about 11.30 at night and then ends up sleeping through us, uh, <laughs> jamming all night you know, long. You, long <laughs> you know, when I heard some of my favorite bands, I would never have ever thought that you really do sit around a living room or you know, bedroom. I mean, our first album we wrote in a bedroom, and we've now graduated to a living room. I don't think anybody would really understand the scope of, you know, you have to show up at some given time and ha try to act halfway responsible. Uh, after being on the road, it's kind of hard to act responsible. A lot of people think, hey, these guys write and they just, you know, they write maybe 40 songs. Or really, we don't. We start with an idea, and if a song doesn't work out, you know, we'll come up with an idea that, you know, if it's just like... You know, so, hey, that's not right. Let's, let's scrap that. Let's move on. And we'll move on to a different idea. 
the way Mark and Dana write, they just mainly go by the melodies and they don't really think about what kind of time it's in. If it's in a different time signature, was well, you know, three, four, six, eight, or you know, whatever it is, there's actually a lot of weird time signatures in our song that they don't realize, but it's my job to go back and structure everything so when, you know, it comes time to, to you know, do tape delays or whatever, you know, or, or when Tim comes to his part, he's not wondering, why is it, why is my part not fitting in here, you know? So I structure everything out, write it all down, and I'll go home, put the headphones on, work on the drum parts, you know, at home with the drum set rather than sit there and bother them with the loud noise and they could still be working on some other things, you know. The whole real love thing really came about with like a, a groove, you know, just... You know, that's the groove that we didn't have on the record. We never ever had this kind of feel on our first record, so, ever. you know, he said, hey, let's put an F sharp because it's not a typical key. So then I went... Kind of do the, the vibe of the music first. And as long as you feel like a real relaxing kind of cool sensation, and we'll make a chord movement. And, you know, you'll assume that that's probably for us, for example, we, you know, you use your imagination, that's more of a burst feel. Real shit. That's Real cool, shit. The goods. We're gonna ask my executive producer, Bloss Elias, at this point, what he thinks of the subject matter. Japanese movie. I think, I think we should give Tim a shot at the lead vocal. Uh, Bloss feels that we should give Tim a shot at the lead vocal. Tim, Kelly, come on. Go on out there, I think bro. I can maybe sing it just a little higher. <laughs> cool, you can come on in. God, should we tell him how bad it really was? <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes. Put the whole rest of the album to do. I know. God, we got to do a whole record with this guy. Get with the program. Get with the program. <laughs> Pretty killer. How's it sound? Cool? Good, yeah. Good. Should probably hear something. Really good. We'll play it back. He's up. He's down. He's up. He's down. down there he is. Down. In for the count. <laughs> SBCA yeah, Society will probably come cool, after us cool. in each neighborhood. Okay. Well, Elias, well, what do you think of the subject matter? Who's going to sing the part live, Kim? Shit. Ah, wait till they see us here. Over here, you can see some of the awards that we've received. Thanks to all you fans. They've fought in the record. Over here, we got Steve. What's up, Steve? Hey, How you doing, man? All right. Steve's work hard at work here on his computer today. 
We got everything computerized here at Slaughter International. Slaughter International. Of course, the phone never stops ringing here. Everybody's always so busy. And here we are in Michelle's office. Oh, how you doing today? Come to work? Yep. Cool. Came to get some stuff done. Cool. So what are you doing here? Um, we're setting up for the next newsletter. Cool. You know we do the slaughter and use yeah, page uh -huh. with all the, the kids who send in pictures. Mm -hmm. well, I'm just setting it up so I can go get it reduced down. Great. You know, we have all the fan club. These are all fan club members who got to meet the guys out on the, on the road. I actually remember a lot of these people that I'm seeing here too. It's great. As you can see, she has a lot of uh, stuff signed from the band and she stocks a lot of merchandise here. Here's where I come and steal my CDs and cassettes from my parents. And Michelle basically oversees everything. I used to have Mark and Dana and, and Tim and Bloss all sitting on the floor uh, folding and stuffing and yeah. so that's <laughs> doing how everything started. that now we pay people to do. Over here we have John, who actually is in charge of doing the mail. What's up, John? How are you doing today, man? Yeah, this is where all the mail goes out. It's quite a system we have here. Some of you have seen the postcards that we send. Like here's one for Mark, okay? So when Mark gets a letter, he has a postcard. He reads, we get the letters, we open the letter, we read the letter, and then we write a reply on the back of the postcard and, and bring them back here. And John, the mail guy, puts them through the mail, and then they go out to everybody. That's how that all happens. This is Delia. Hi, this is Tim Kelly from the band Slaughter. Really? Yeah. I, I got your number off the hotline. I wanted to give you a call and, and just to say hi. How you doing today? Very good. It's good to talk to you. We're filming a video that's going to be out with our record. It's a long-form video. Mm -hmm. and right? Yeah, this, this, this uh, phone call is going to be actually on the video, so when it comes out, make sure you watch it, okay? Really? Yep. My voice will be on the video? Absolutely. Wow. So, hey, wh wh what, do you, what do you like about Slaughter? Everything. Really? Who's, you, who's your favorite guy in the band? Uh, Mark. Oh. Right. I'll make sure to tell him. Good old Gazaris. This is where local bands come on the weekends, and this is where they promote their bands. And if you look over this way, you can see flyers stuck at things. See, these bands here are the top bands at Gazaris that have sold the place out. They're like the headlining status bands. A lot of the bands that were signed out of LA really got their start right here on the strip where I'm standing. These are all people that have actually played here. David Lee Roth, Motley Crue, Poison, Rat. Uh, you've got pretty much all of them. And then they've got new local bands, like this band here, Wanted, I guess. And th these are, you know, people that are starting to make their mark in Hollywood, and they're starting to do real well. And basically, that's how it all happens here. I mean, the bands I was in, we used to do this. We'd take a bucket with, with hot water and glue in it. We'd dump the flyer in the glue and stick it up. And we'd get harassed by the cops a lot, but they would just make you take them down. And uh, one time I borrowed a friend's car, and I put glue in a big bucket, and it toppled over and ruined the car. And, she never forgave me. Pretty interesting. It's kind of weird for me to be here again. But uh, this is where it all started, right up there in apartment 303. The tree's kind of blocking the way. But we used, to, we used to actually stand up on that balcony and harass people driving by and stuff. And we used to have a lot of fun here. So I have a, very, a lot of very good memories of this place. And it makes me feel real good to be here again. OK, and we're going to roll.
That's gonna be great live, man. Yeah, it's great it. live. We're just outside by the vending machine, and we ran into a couple guys that we bumped into several times on the road. Mike and Marty, they're two fans of ours. They brought a couple things down the studio to show what's happened in the past year and a half of our life. Uh, there's bootleg stuff. You guys, where'd you get that at? Bought it at a fair, actually, for three dollars. For three dollars. Yeah, three dollars. Well, you throw a dart. What got? <laughs> what, what got? You, what got you guys so into slaughter? You guys made us feel welcome, you know, and. And, you know, you guys just went out of your way, you know, wow. and we thought it was really cool. And, you know, we started collecting, you know, just little things here and little things there, you know. And it just, you know, progressed, you know. We just, like, kept on and kept on. And they had Arsenio Hall tickets that we didn't even know existed, American Music Award tickets, things that, that bootleg shirts, different and things that we never knew. There's that, even that, things that, uh, from bands before, you know, before anything of any legitimacy. You know, here's some old pictures. You know, me on roller skates and Tim with the guitar that that he smashed basically against the side of a car. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they've also taught us that people like rare things. That's why we're going to have some rare things on our new release of our new record. 
And because uh, we learn a lot from our fans in spending the time and talking to them, because every human being has great ideas if you let them tap those ideas. Where did you guys get this itinerary? It actually says where we were at. This, this is us on Cinderella. But I got Where's this from Tim. Actually, he gave it to me. <laughs> Tim, <laughs> Tim Kelly. Tim Kelly. Yeah. Yes. And look, there's a girl's phone number in here too. Yeah, Tim. Oh. Tim. Yeah. <laughs> Moving right along, I think at this time we're going to take a very strong applause for both Mike Thank and Marty. You Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, here we are at the California City Skydive Center. This is where I'm going to learn how to jump out of an airplane, something I've wanted to do since I was a little kid. And uh, I've actually got the approval of uh, our manager, Bud, and the rest of the guys in the band, only because I'm putting it in the video, and they're exploiting me fully on this. But uh, let's go inside and meet the people that are making this happen and uh, the people that are teaching me how to jump out of a plane, all right? Hey, boss. How, how you doing? doing, Bob? It's Bob, Welcome. Maria. Welcome oh, yeah. to everybody out in, in uh, Slaughterland. <laughs> Glad you guys gave me the chance to do this. I've always, always dreamed of jumping out of airplanes for some strange reason. I guess <laughs> well, a, lot, a lot of crazy people under one roof here. You know, well, you came to the right place. We can do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We got some things we got to go over. Make sure you do everything right, and we'll put on a harness and practice a little bit. And all right, yeah, we got to we'll make go sure we catch bit. all the, the intensive training from my mom because if she's watching this, she's really <laughs> gonna want to see that first. <laughs> yeah. If you start to drift a little this way, what are you gonna do? You're gonna counter by turning that way, right? Mm -hmm. Drop that shoulder. Okay, check the altimeter periodically. Remember mm -hmm. to do that often. Okay, you start to drift this way. Okay, go right back I'll over. Turn. Mm -hmm. It's the Superman part. Okay, then you get to 5,000 feet. 5, what are you gonna do? Feet. Wave off. And find the ripple. This, this is the part where you, where you told me don't look down, right? Yeah. <laughs> you want to keep your head up? Can we draw right? a small map on the ground so I can get used to looking at this? <laughs> we should do that. Get an aerial view. Right there. <laughs> okay, right here, you're gonna gonna check. do a check in, right? Okay. You're gonna check in. Check with, in. Okay. And you're gonna check, check with me. Check out. Okay. You're, what you're doing is making sure we're ready. When I'm not okay, now we start the exit tempo and you start swinging okay. it out. This is, where, this is where my drumming experience comes in handy, learning how to count. <laughs> <laughs> so, out, out and. In. Oh. 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. All right. Okay. I think this is the same maneuver Mark pulls at the end of eye to eye every night when he's jumping up off the, the back line of amps. So, Mark, this is the proper technique. Good. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> All right, let's go get geared up. All right, that was about three feet. Let's go jump from about 12,500 feet and see if it feels the same. Yeah, it's good. Okay. You had a great well, too, I, landing. I pulled at 5,000 and I landed on my feet. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Nice landing. Yeah. 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 I tell you, the, the, the coolest thing was actually getting out of the plane, you know, and, and, and going up. It's like walking down the hallway into a concert with, you know, 20,000 people or so. And then get next to the door, it's like the lights go down and you're just about to go out. And then when you jump, 
it's like the people and the lighters going up and the, and the roar of the crowd, that's it, you know, that's the feeling, you know? Yeah. And then you're home free. It's like all the, all the nervousness is, is in the plane. And then once you're out, you're just like a bird, you know? Yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes I just like to get away from it all. Take a breather. It doesn't happen too often because I'm always on the road or in the studio. Slaughter takes up all of my time. That's what I love to do. It's nice to get away, though. You know, the silence out here is just amazing. It makes you think and about all the things that we've seen out in the road and the people we've met. We've had a lot of laughs out there. A lot of laughs, a lot of good times. There's nothing like it. <laughs> But there's one thing for sure. You can't stop the hands of time. Watching 
Doing the cartel. That's actually what she probably is. That's what I mean. No, no, no. I wouldn't ask you. Hey, Kalash, how you doing, man? Hi, guys. Hi, Larry. How you doing? What do we got here? Oh, so we're gonna narrow this stuff down just a tad, Great. I guess, because it's all getting a little bit. So. Cool, dude. Uh, shall I just spread them out? Okay, just spread them out, guys. New record cover. Here yeah. we go. Whoa. Not in any order of uh, presentation. Just oh, stuff for great. you, the guys, to get into. You'll notice how the reds are getting brighter as we go. They are getting brighter as we go. You like that? There's a definite sort of psychological ploy here with the reds. What do you think? What do you think, boys? I love, I love this one right here. That's great. Look, Tim, it's got your guitar in it. I know, it's, it's rocking. Cool. Here's the psycho one here for Pandemonium. It That's looks a, like an insane ideas person. The cover. That's cool. Oh, yeah. I like this antique yeah, It looks like a Jesus Jones cover, Bob. There's one image here which I think will probably take care of the whole what, thing. What, in your opinion, do you like the best? That one? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. think about <clears throat> if, if you just... Clear the decks and just leave that one image mm. sitting there. Because all this stuff is kind of confusing it and diluting it. What collector art, boy? <laughs> <laughs> what somebody would pay for one of these things with the wrong title on it could just be amazing. There it is. Ain't oh, that the truth? Great. Tim, it looks just like you, man. I know. If it was in color, you'd have red hair, it'd be the red headed stepchild. And that's what you are, Tim. Don't you forget it. I like that logo better than the other logo for this record. Yeah, it's what stronger. Yep. Yeah, and it's, it's got that thrust that uh, I think we need. But there's... You know, thrust. There's the blade. <laughs> thrust. 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 There's the blade. <clears throat> That's great. great. Well, guys, I think we got ourselves an album cover. Great. Killer. 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 So we got, we got a few clothes yeah. here. Oh. This jacket looks great, Pat. Yeah, it looks I love it. Did a great job on that. Yeah, that's great. I would so save this for the inside studio. No, yep. you can go I'm with the smaller. I'm thinking about this one yeah. for the first. Yeah, that's this, what I thought. That's this, what I this and uh, my my black um, stretch jeans. Yeah. And uh, what should I wear underneath for Lots sure? Stuff going on. Is this t-shirt? Yeah. No. 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 I have a pile of t-shirts. How about my black? How about a how about a strap on, Bo? Would you like us to play at your Holiday Inn? Thirty-two fifty, you can have us, but we have to have an open bar. With well, just like a T-shirt or you know nothing. Or what in the bottom? It is the cutest Beat up jeans, or your jeans that come to the that come to here with your black boots. That would look cool. What's this? That's a winner. Okay, here it is. This is a winner. Yeah, cool. Censor this. <laughs> Done. Okay. Yeah. This. I'll bet you did. I did. Oh. So, I mean, it weighs like, God, it's like 80 pound jacket. It fits me like a glove and it makes me, uh, well, it's really it makes me look thin. Really cool. Now, everybody must say hello to Darla, our happy makeup Good person morning. who's been with us from the very beginning and still here. What a concept. What a concept. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> Who would have thought? It's a killer. I saw it. It was the Wizard of Oz. It was blazing. I mean, do you, but do you see this one guy with the paint can? He's a, like a full artist with a spray paint can. Yes. Look at this. Look at this. What's interesting about this is it's not their property. It's not their building. There is really no rights to do any of this, but they just took it over and did it. I'm going to probably shoot something pretty soon. Okay. We're almost done. All right. Cool. Your playground and your, uh, your wall. Turn to your side, Bluff. More. Okay, right there. Cool. Yeah, good. Right there, Bluff. Cool. 
Good. Good attitude. Good. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Perfect, right there. One of the things that, that probably makes slaughter almost as unusual as the collection of human beings in slaughter itself is the fact that it's a completely self-produced band. You know, the band itself is really in pretty much control of our own destiny. We record as much as a band as we can, but no matter what, when you do multi-track work, you're going to work independently of each other. Um, I'm usually the first one here and the last one out. I probably lead the least glamorous of all the lives of the guys in the band when they're making a record because they can kind of cruise in and cruise out as they want. Let me find the spot. And let's just... going to get into being an engineer or producer or you want to be in a rock and roll band it better not be for the sheer money of it because you're probably going to put in more time than it's often all worth you spend a lot of time in a room like this uh, your your best friend or your girlfriend becomes one of these buttons over here a sliding fader it really kind of amounts to spending a lot of time on your own you know like i said a lot of time on your own you couldn't imagine that we'd be this straight the whole time could you there's no way you'd believe it right Hello. Uh oh. Hi. Only in America, folks. Only in America this we can happen. We like you lots. <laughs> well, we like you lots too. Hey, well, that's my lap. Oh, oh, no, you you give up my lap. I don't understand a share. goddamn no? word they're it's saying, but I'll tell you one thing. So where's my guy? <laughs> I want two guys. You want two I guys? Want two. They're industrious okay, girls, two. and they're from I Europe too. We can dance, yeah. Let me roll right out of the picture. It's a party. It's a party. I love it. I can see. The album will never be finished. The reason the album will never be finished is because of what you said going on here. Now we're going to turn this up to 11. <laughs> this is the only way to listen to it, Marcus. This is the opening track. There you go. Track Uno. <laughs>
not your hero. The man is a hero. The man is a goddamn hero, folks. The man that fell off the stage of the boys and dorms. The same guy right here. Yeah, guys, go Was it right? 